Oh my god, look what I just found. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like this before. Oh my god, this is too much for me. Look at this little track. Good morning, people. How are you all doing today? I'm doing mighty fine, I must say. I'm out on my trail weapon exploring machine. I love this thing for trailing and cross country and just exploring. It's, it's uh, about 10 o'clock. Hopefully I've missed all the dog walkers and hopefully I'm early enough to miss all the farmers coming out to do their crops and stuff. It's going to get hot today. So this is the reason why I've popped out really early. Basically just to try and miss some of the farmers and I've got a few ideas of places I want to go and explore but usually when I make plans they never work out so really I've got a few ideas and I'm just going for a ride and if you want to tag along then stick around and I'll be back in a minute I'm doing the air pedal what's going on over there look at these rich people they're so wealthy look at that house I often pass it Look at the balcony, oh wow. And they got their own cricket pitch. I hate cricket. That'd be much better off as a, something like a pump track. Yes, that's what I'd have. I don't know how many times I use this switch, but it's actually really handy. Um, for one, if I want to coast down hills and not use the throttle, I have it in EP mode, it just coasts so well. The, re the regeneration of the battery, which is really good, obviously it just puts more charge back into the battery and saves your brake pads. But the main thing of it is you've got to be in sport mode and above, above 8 miles per hour for the regen to work. Some people are getting confused, I've seen a few videos and people aren't really sure but it works in sport mode and above eight miles per hour. And that's pretty good, because obviously if you're racing and you're coming into a corner, you don't need to use your brakes, it's recharging the battery. Quality manoeuvre. But I, I will use it if I'm going down a really steep hill, I just put it into sport mode then and try not to use my brakes so much. But when I want to keep my speed up and I want to coast, it's got to be in the EP mode. I'm heading over there, somewhere we used to swim when I was a kid. I could probably imagine I wouldn't go in there now. Now I've got it in sport. Thing is, there's too many walkers about, I've got to be careful. Like little whoops there. Another thing is when you're, I've rode bikes on the road for many years, you've got to be looking ahead all the time on a road bike. Always looking miles ahead, thinking ahead and expecting the unexpected. That's for sure when I've had, I've had a car pull out in front of me before, caused a bit of a scene. I was uh, bedridden for a while. But that's another story, that was completely their fault. And that's why I always expect the unexpected from every vehicle on the road and I'm looking miles ahead. And the same once I get off-road. In these situations on busy areas, you've got to be looking ahead. Well, nice little ditch. I can hear something. It's just the way we want to hear. Good morning. And that is what I love about this bike. People are just not threatened by it. It barely moved out the way. If that was a big combustion engine, fossil fuel dinosaur revving away, they'd have all jumped out the way, covered the children, child. 
but this is just perfect. That's its exploring ability. No one really knows you're there, and if they do know you're there, they don't seem to be too bothered. Obviously, I'm not riding like a complete. Not yet, anyway. Private land. Do, do, do. What's this bit of string doing here? Ha, <laughs> not that silly. <laughs> Look at them Canadian geese. They're a bit of a problem now in the UK. Oh, look at that seagull. No, that isn't. It's a white herring. What? Oh, did you see that? It's a stork. I've actually never seen a white stork around. Is it a stork? I don't know. Look at that. These Canadian geese. I've just noticed a herd of cows. Uh oh. Oh my god, to believe I used to swim in that. <laughs> Shame they've fenced it all off. But look, that's why, because people just disrespect it. You get a nice place. And these young riffraff just leave their beer cans everywhere. You could have rode up there on your bike and nah, that's a bit much. It's an old weir. Whatever a weir exactly means, I'm not right quite sure unless I look at Google. It's like a lock. Yeah, look at that rope swing. It used to be quite deep, but silt soon builds up. Let's get out of here, it's not as good as I thought. Especially being fenced off and I don't like those cows looking at me. Four of them are really staring. And if there's animals in this field, I shouldn't really be in here. Let's go. I think it's a bit of a giveaway that there's cows in here considering there's cow pats everywhere. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, it's too early. I'm going to have to shake that off. Oh no. Dock leaf. <laughs> Look, they got a few purposes wiping your butt, getting rid of stinger nettle stings, and wiping the cow crap off your bike. Ah! Oh, that was a fucking. Oh. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, I touched that fence and I think I touched the gate at the same time. <sighs> no word of a lie. Oh, How's a buzz? Idiot. My elbows got a good kick there in both of them. What is that? Looks like some Viking burial chamber. It's like some holiday camp. I'm in the wrong place. I don't even know where this path goes. It's quite nice. some walkers see what their uh, reaction will be to the air pedal just to make it look a little bit better their reaction was perfect didn't look impressed well, giddy up that's all I say look at their knees work Dun, dun, dun. Is that convincing enough?
that I've just spotted. That looks appetizing. What's, what's going on in here? Keep out, I can hear the vultures. This looks pretty sweet. Oh god, what is all that? Oh shit. Oh my god, look what I just found. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen anything like this before. Oh my god, this is too much for me. Look at this little track. What a hero, whoever this is. They've put some serious work into that. That's pretty cool. Don't want to get... Look at this, I found some like... Sort of BMX jump track, mountain bike trails. Right. Don't want to be an arsehole, we'll get out of here. He's even got a cushion. Look at that. You know, he's even got a sofa set up for spectators. That's a nice berm. Fair play, mate. Fair play on you. Whoever this is. I won't abuse it. I'll try and get out of here quickly. I could just find the fucking... Shit. Why has it gone? I feel like I'm stuck and not liking it. I missed the path. Shit. Oh, I'm Where the fuck's that path? I'm stunned to hell. Here's that path. Get out of here. Oh, I'm whipped to death. We're stinging it. Wow. Oh. Shit. Better go up that middle beam. Oh no. Stay on that. Can you see that? That middle girder. I don't want to fall in there. Oh, it's like some cesspit. Yeah. Oh, some grass, I hate wet grass. It's so unpredictable. Just a big stick and another. I mean, not that I can see where this goes. Oh. Oh, it's a hair thing, it looked like then. Uh, definitely took a wrong turn, I think, there. But, uh, straight through the bush. I'm trying to just keep to the edge circuit. What's going on ahead, though? That's what I'm looking for. And on the floor. Whoa, oh, oh, twigs or ruts. Now I'm venturing into a sign where I didn't like the look of it. Turn down here. This is the way I know out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they 
this is rough rough as it's solid it's because it's compacted by years of horses and electric bikers and walkers and all sorts on the bridle way there's a road frightened me then I thought what the earth is that Ugh, under the train look someone's crashed into there recently that's me done now I'm heading home hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed it it's been different that that like mountain bike track well that's got me thinking but I, I'm thinking more or less definitely put myself in hospital if I try any of that maybe the berms but not those jumps not the doubles it's too much for me but it's been enjoyable I hope you enjoyed the viewing and maybe we shall see you in the future Moto Machines out